Okay, so um, in this video we will see how to use Galaxy to run an RNA-seq analysis. The data that we will use will be from C. elegans. And, and we will use three data sets from control. So this will be animals that um, um, we haven't uh, applied any treatment. So everything is, um, is they are like a control. Okay, so I, I write here untreated animals and three data sets so three animals uh, where the, the C. elegans, the worms are infected by a pathogen called Okay, if you want to find details on that, then you have to Google it. So this will be our at treatment treatment class. So treat, treat, treatment class. So in other words, we have six animals, three from one class and three from another class. The first class contains animals that are treated as control, which means that they don't have actually any treatment, they are just healthy C. elegans. And the other three animals are those that are infected, I guess by a bacterium here, and it's the treatment class. And our goal for this experiment is to find out which genes have been infected, have been affected by the infection. And by the word affected here, I mean uh, very clearly that their expression level either is higher or lower uh, between the control and the infected class. So compared to the control cl uh, class, the expression level went up or the expression level went down. Now, we cannot use just one animal from each class to study this. We need at least two animals and the reason is that in such experiments, we're going to evaluate statistically whether a treatment has an effect. And the reason for this, why we cannot use just one animal, is because if we take two animals, one, let's say that we take one treated animal and one untreated, so one um, untreated C. elegans, and one treated C. Animal, C, C. elegans. And let's say, let's suppose that we have one more untreated C. elegans. So here I just say one. So this is the animal A. And we have one more untreated C. C. elegans, the animal A prime. Okay, let's clean it a little bit. Again, this is untreated. 
Now if we take any gene from here, so let's say that we take gene X, and we measure the expression level in A and in A prime, for sure the expression level of this gene will not be exactly the same. So they will have some difference. For example, for, gene, for animal A, the expression level of the gene will be 127. This will be for A. And for A prime, the expression level will be 130. Now you see that this is higher than this. So somebody could claim that Okay, even in untreated animals, one animal is higher than the other. Of course, we don't expect to find exactly the same values. Now, if we see the expression level in this treated animal, and let's suppose that this is animal B, and we measure the expression level of the gene X, then we might find that this is something like 129. Now, again, this is higher than A, so somebody could say that, okay, treatment affects the expression level of gene X, but if we take into account also A prime, then we will say, okay, we have animals here that are untreated and the expression value is 127 and 130, and we have treated animals that this expression level is 129, so we cannot say actually that this value here is higher than the expression values that we get in treatment in untreated animals. So in this case we we would say that um, treatment does not affect the expression level. Of course we need more animals here, right? We need another B prime here and it might have 129.5. Okay. Therefore what is important for us to decide whether some treatment affects um, the expression level of a gene is to compare two things. One is the expression level in each class so this is in for example untreated class and the treated class this is the infected right this is the infected class and so to, to compare somehow the, the expression levels within the classes with the expression levels between the classes So this is untreated versus treated. So the comparison here is within each class and here is between each class. And you see that here. If we want to compare these two values, we need to know somehow the variance that we have within each class and then compare what we observe in one class versus what we compare what we observe in the other class so we will see that a bit later on how we apply this statistically but now it's just a short introduction to show you that w one animal from each class is not enough because we cannot compare we cannot calculate what's happening within each class. We need more animals from each class in order to decide um, what's happening within each class and then compare what we observe in each class with what we observe between the classes. Okay, this is the first part and now we will go to on with Galaxy uh, to, to do that experimentally.